So in the I Am Impact Healing Circles, one, values. And so I'll ask you right on the spot right now, so it's raw. Like, what's two values that you need in any relationships? And I'm, when I say values, I'm thinking of things like trust, respect, honesty. What are two values that you need in any relationship? You basically named them. <laughs> you basically named them. Trust, so trust honesty, respect. respect, loyalty is, is a very high currency, not just a street currency, but an emotional currency to me. Yeah. So, okay. So, for example, let's go with trust. What, is that, what does that mean to, to Janice, right? Trust. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you? Trust means honesty. Trust means vulnerability. Trust means caring. Trust means telling me the truth, even when I don't want to hear the truth. But it also is a layer of covering at the same time. Mm. So great, excellent, right? Hey, y'all, we didn't predict this, right? This all <laughs> off the off the cusp. So this is what we do in the workshops. We talk about that. Because what we realize is that a lot of folks will yell out values that they need a relationship, but the individual has never defined for themselves what that actually means for them. So when you say trust to you, it means honesty. It means telling me the truth, even if it's going to hurt. Now, if I know that and we're a community and relationship and you're telling me, you're giving me the green light to do that, my likelihood of doing that is a lot higher versus me not knowing you and not mm -hmm. knowing that trust and honesty is one of your top values in relationship, right? Because now if I know that the way we move and operate in space together, I know I got to be honest with you. I ain't going to lie to you and tell you I, my car broke down when it didn't. I'm going to just tell you, hey, I had a long night last night. I was up. I was doing too much. And so I'm going to be late, right? right? Because now we have that relationship. And you, if you told me off top, like, this is what I need in relationship. Now I can show up authentically. But too often what we do is in relationship and communities, we equate proximity with understanding, right? So since I've been close to Janice, I'm going to assume that she understands what I need and I'm going to assume that she understands what I need and we don't talk about it. We don't go there. Then too, when do we have time to actually talk about our values and respect and things like that? And what we realized in our healing circles is that we need to make this a part of the work. If I expect you to have my back we had a school site now. We know that campus is not the safest spaces for young people anymore, right? Like, how do I make sure that if we're going to be in relationship, we go deeper, right? So that I know that you have my back when it comes to us serving our young people, right? Like, I know that you can watch my class for a moment because we've had those conversations and we can go there. So in these circles, we go there, we set agreements, we talk about our values. And for me, again, this is something that I had never done. My parents never instilled into me. They said, be good, right? Don't be acting a fool. But nobody actually defined, what does that look like? So the next question that I would have asked you is like, what is, you know, what is honesty and trust sound and feel like? So just imagine, right? Like, we're going to go that deep with it because... Mm -hmm. Too often we are educated, we're in space together and we spend, what, what is it, 80% of the time we spend is mostly with our coworkers and not our loved ones. So if I'm going to be around you 80% of the time, I think that it would be a good idea to really get to know you because then I know, oh, Janice, don't, I, I can just walk past. She needs a moment right now, right? Mm -hmm. Because we have that relationship, but too, too often we equate proximity with understanding. And so in our healing circle, we encourage folks to show up authentically. Whereas, especially if you're black or brown, when it comes to you, we typically are taught to not show up authentic authentically. We are told to leave that other side at the door. Like, no, mm. if you're hurting right now, show up hurting. If you're hungry right now, show up hungry, right? Mm. If you like irritated, show up irritated. Because what I realized is that I was doing myself and my community and my friends and my family a disservice by trying to act like everything's always good because most of the time, Mr. Nate is always turned up and positive and optimistic. But I do have days, for example, the day we were presenting at Boost. In the mm. April, end of April 2022, you know, like we are having some technical difficulties. My, my phone thing is not working. I can't record my healing circle, which is why I don't have as much content as I usually have. Our Wi-Fi wasn't working, so we couldn't throw our PowerPoint. The projector wouldn't connect. So we just had all these issues. And so I got in front of these folks and were able to tell them, Yo, I am showing up, not, I am showing up, I'm a little upset right now. I'm frustrated right now. Things are not going my way right now. So we were able to have authentic conversation. And guess what? That crowd, that audience, those participants were able to receive me, right?
authentically and know that I don't, it, things don't always have to be great, right? Because we're mm-hmm. human. And we start thinking about that from our, uh, uh, the perspective of a young person. If young people always see Mr. Nate as happy and optimistic and positive, never, never nothing wrong, like, then how do I go through what I'm going through that's real? At, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Mr. Nate, you actually lost your parent too. Oh, Mr. Nate, you actually have issues like, yes. Right. And so it allows yes, us to be able to create those. Yes, I actually do have problems as well. We were able to have, so going through these healing circles, what we do is we provide a space, but it's really, we are, we're the circle keepers, we're the circle facilitators, but we actually just lead, we lead the conversation. And I always tell folks, the circle's going to do what the circle's going to do. Most of the time, mm-hmm. people are end up crying. People are going to release. People are going to like, <laughs> I didn't know how much I needed this. I'm so glad that you're here. And that's what happened this past. That's when we did that booth. Folks showed up and were like, yo, this is like, this is everything I needed. This was everything mm-hmm. I needed because I was hurting. I was tired. And yes, so that's right. how we do it. 